In this session, we'll see about how to pivot data using Informatica. So here is the first scenario where we need to pivot columns in a single row into multiple rows. Suppose if for address ID 1, there are two addresses. So I want them in separate rows. So in order to do this, we'll be using a normalizer transformation, which I will explain in detail later on. So similarly, the second scenario is exactly the opposite of the previous. That is, we pivot data from multiple multiple rows into columns in a single row. So for uh, uh, Rachel Geller, there are two addresses. So both the address would be present in one single column. So this can be done using an aggregator transformation. Let's see how to do this in our mapping. So first, let's see how to do the first scenario that is pivot columns in a single row into multiple rows. So this can be done using a normalizer. Here I have a store data. So I have a store ID and four quarterly sales data. So I want to convert in my target as store one quarterly sales one, store one quarterly sales two. That is what I would uh, uh, like to do. So I set uh, my conditions here if you go to properties uh, the sales data occurs four times so using a normalizer transformation we can uh, convert a single uh, columns in a single row into multiple rows I have explained in detail in my video on normalizer transformation so if you check on the sales data uh, it is data viewer and run yeah so you can see here store one uh, sales uh, store one so this can be done using normalizer transformation uh, my second scenario where we need to uh, pivot data from multiple rows into columns in a single row so let's see how this can be done so I have an aggregator transformation in order to pivot uh, multiple rows into columns in a single row. So the source data looks like this. So I have uh, two address ID ones and two address ID twos. So I will ha I want to have it in a single row uh, with the two, uh, two address columns. So let's see how to do this. If you check on the aggregator, go to properties. So what I have done here is I have group uh, by the address ID. If you check here, I have group by the address ID and uh, I have created two output ports for the address. So in that I have the expression first address and last address. So if you check the data here, so address ID 1, uh, so it has been uh, grouped based on the first and last function and uh, so we have the data here so here we have exactly two address uh, columns if there are various number of uh, uh, rows suppose for example here if I check uh, yeah so if I see there are two records for customer ID 1 and uh, three for customer ID two. So in this case, I will use an expression transformation and then an aggregator transformation. So in my, uh, so we have comments. Uh, totally, I would like to record four comments from that particular customer ID. If there is no comment present, uh, just it should carry null value. So let's see how this can be done go to expression transformation so go to properties here ports I have created three variable ports and one output port O count so what this does is first uh, yeah it will check whether if it's a new customer ID so if the last customer ID, customer ID equal to last customer ID, which is here, then it is yes or else no. So if the V customer ID is no, then it is one. Otherwise, V count plus one. 
so v last customer id is nothing but the customer id and this v count uh, it is the expression for our output port uh, that is o count so if you check the data for this expression transformation so it's checking uh, one one is uh, whether it's a new customer id yes it is a new customer id so it will return value one for the next one it will check again it's a new customer id no it is already present so it will do v count plus one that is one plus one two and uh, it will have the o count value as 2 so similarly for 2 and 3 so next if you move on to the aggregator transformation so I am going to do max of the comment uh, and o count equal to 1 so where o count equal to 1 that comment will be stored in my comment 1 uh, if it is 2 then uh, comment 2 similarly so if you check on the target data here yeah so if you see uh, it is a a b b and then other two are null for uh, customer id 2 we had uh, three comments and the fourth one is null so similarly customer id 3 so you can check this even on my blog a to z informatica dot blogspot dot com thank you